Alrighty, good morning, everybody. Whoa, can you guys hear me? Yep. All right. So in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the top three long-term ETFs that Vanguard offers. We're gonna be looking at these charts on the Thinkorswim platform, though, just because Thinkorswim's charts are a lot better than Vanguard's. We got our Captain America mug. We are ready to go. I got literally two coffees. I got my hot coffee and then my nice cold coffee here. Uh, been doing a lot of work lately. But uh, all right, so let's just pretty much jump into it. Um, so the first one here we have is VU or VOO. Now, what this one is, is this is a Vanguard S&P ETF. So it's an S&P tracker. Uh, pretty much what the S&P 500 is, it's the top 500 companies in the United States that uh, is available for the public trade. Now, they merge all of these to pretty much create a index, and then they made an ETF off that. So really... If one of the companies has a strong earnings and pushes the stock up and the other company is falling a little bit, we'll kind of balance it out. Now this is a, really this is considered a um, less risky investment, especially for traders. Uh, a lot of people put their money in these. Um, they There's a wide variety of these. There's SPY, there's a couple other. I like Vanguard's ETF though. Um, you know, they offer dividends, they offer everything like that. But uh, let's show you guys the yearly chart, just so you guys can see. So it has a nice upward trend. Uh, found some support at this 200 moving average um, before it popped up. You know, low of 191, high of 277. Uh, it's kind of peaking down here, so we, we might have some sort of sell-off here. Um, I would love for it to sell all the way down to 250, and I would buy some more shares, but... You know that's all right for now so this is just the s p 500 tracker you know this is a great tool especially if you guys are you know saving for retirement this is one of the best things that you can do is put money in this and just keep buying shares and really there's no maintenance fees as compared to mutual funds mutual some mutual funds are very very expensive and will charge you know a couple percent just to manage it you got to be careful about that um, so let's move on to the next one here. All right, the next one here is the Vanguard Real Estate ETF. Now, the real estate ETF pretty much tracks the real estate market. Um, you know, as you guys can see, there's a low of $71, a high of 91, so we have that $20 fluctuation here. Now, this one, as you guys can see, the yearly chart, um, it's kind of flat if you look at it. This chart's kind of flat, but one thing that's very good about this is it does offer a fantastic dividend. Now, dividend is when the pretty much when a company or the uh, ETF will give some of its profits back to the um, investors. Now, that's what this one does, you know, and that's why I kind of looked at it. I want something that gives me that income. And so on and so on. So, you know, low of 71. I'd love for it to pop down to like 83, 69. Uh, two, or the 90 moving average would be a good buy. Anything under 80 bucks is a good buy for this stock, guys. But let's move on to the next one here. Now, VT. VT is the world's ETF. So, really, it's the world, um, it's the world market. It tracks where the economy is going and everything like that. So as you guys can see, in late in in late 2017, we had that sell-off. Same with VU. If we pull back up VU, we had the sell-off. They're very, very similar. The prices are different. Now the reason why they're similar is because is because most of the economies kind of work that same way. So if that's say the US is kind of falling down. In some cases, Chinese or you know other economies will kind of start falling down because the U.S. is such a powerhouse, and whoa, and will kind of kind of control that world's market. So it's something to look at. 
I think we should diversify even more than three, but three's kind of that good beginner mode. There is off, there is, a, that's, we can do one more. Uh, BND is good. This is the bond. Whoa, where is it? Right here. I do own some of this. This is the uh, total bond market. So it's, you know, considered less risky. Um, you know, there might be some sort of resistance here at, uh, 8455 but we'll see um, anything below you know eighty dollars is a good buy so you know this is considered less risky it fluctuates only you know less than ten dollars per share so that's kind of good they do offer a dividend I believe so it's pretty interesting so let's pull up the uh, yearly chart and see how this looks the yearly chart is just a steady growth steady growth of let's see the percentage so peak bottom or top of where it is so it's only a seven percent gain on the year but this is a very very slow and a very easy fund to begin with obviously if you would have bought in at peak bottom it would be it probably would be you know maybe like seven or eight seven but uh so, you know, it's something to look at. I think if you guys are beginners, you guys should put money in the uh, VU, the S&P 500, the bond market, the real estate market, and the total wor world market just to diversify. Now, this is going to be this is going to just cost you a couple hundred bucks. And if you just keep doing that monthly, if you just buy a share a month or however you guys want to do it, I guarantee the interest will start compounding. You know, maybe in a couple, maybe in like two years, and you will start seeing a lot more returns. And if you take all all of your dividends and reinvest it, that will also, you know, increase that speed of financial freedom, guys. But that is it, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, drop a subscribe down below. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers, so thank you all. Um, yeah. So pretty much. Pretty much that's what I would do guys uh, you know I have I know I haven't made a lot of videos lately just got back from a vacation uh, but we'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode we're gonna start doing more videos like this again and we're gonna be doing more vlog videos everything like that we're gonna start making this channel the best channel on YouTube so if you guys think that or want to you know are excited to see where the future holds subscribe comment down below so that is it though. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive, and we'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Take care.